Hello guys, Michaela here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another speed build. Today we are building in the world of uh, Chestnut Ridge, which is the world that came with the fairly new um, expansion pack, which is called the Horse Range. And I decided to build a very small barn um, in like the autumnal colors with a very cozy color scheme uh, on the interior. And I really like how it turned out. I built on a Oh, 20 by 30 lot or 30 by 20 lot. Um, it's a two, one bedroom, one bathroom house, uh, and it comes in at around 55,000 simoleons. Uh, it's the Sweet Nectar Glade lot, which is like in the more foresty area of uh, Chestnut Ridge. And I really liked, uh, I really liked working on it, and I really like how this one turned out. It's exactly 100 tiles, so it's still considered a small home so it's part of the tiny living um tile counter thingy so you will get some perks if you decide to move uh, your sims in here i had a vision for this and i really wanted to uh, make it like a very warm um color palette so i used this very warm wood swatch on like the different items that came with the horse range um pack I used mostly stuff from that pack, but I also used a lot of other packs as well. And as I said, I really like how it turned out. It's like very cozy and cute and comfy and just like so welcoming and, and warm, the color scheme, you know, it, it really breathes in awesome to me at least. So I really like uh, how that turned out. I was actually inspired by an inspiration picture from Pinterest as always, and as always I forgot to save it uh, or I kind of deleted it before I could uh, show it to you, but it was this really cute barn. The color scheme was completely different, but the general shape of the barn was similar to the one that I went for, and I really liked it. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try making this in The Sims, and I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, if you can hear it uh, in my voice, I am a little bit sick. I've caught a cold from my brother who brought it home from university, um, but it's not like a huge deal. I'm just a little bit um, sick. It's not like full on cold. It's just like a little bit, a uh, little bit of a cold. It's not that bad. Uh, but as you can still hear it in my voice. I mean, my voice is usually the first thing that you can hear it on. Even if I'm not like um, having my, if my nose is not full, I am still talking like this. So I'm not sure if it can be heard. I feel like it can, but I'm not sure if it's going to be her uh, like heardable on the recording. Um, anyway, here I'm working on this little pond. I used uh, the landscaping from the horse range pack to, um, yeah, create landscaping because that's what I like to do. I like to use the landscaping that fits in with the world and I really wanted to go for this like warm, um, autumnal look. So that's why I went for these kind of more like yellowish, um, bush because I usually use the one that came with I believe the base game but it's much more green than this this one is more of a like khaki green like a bit more yellowish than the other one which I felt like was a really uh, nice look I also used uh, these I'm not sure how to call them um, the 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 plant with the big leaves which I think is from our door retreat and again I used uh, the swatch that in the autumn uh, season because that's what I have set in the game turns into this like very reddish uh, swatch and I really like how that kind of made the build look and it really looks nicely with the w uh, wood color that I chose for the main uh, house. I am really um, having a lot of fun building at the moment. I started university last week so I'm a bit busy. I haven't talked about it in my last video because it was sort of recorded, not on purpose, but it was. Uh, so I start university next week. I have a lot of stuff to do this semester. I'm going to a teaching practicum in about two weeks. So I'm trying to pre-record a little bit because I don't know how much time I'll have once there because there is a lot of paperwork that needs to be filled and it's not fun at all. Uh, there's a lot of things that we need to fill in that you would normally not really do when teaching as a job, but because we are kind of, as my uh, didactics teacher call us, um, um, student teachers, that's what she calls us, so we need to learn. So we have to do 
all of our like preps for the lessons um very thoroughly and it's very time consuming so i'm not sure how much time i'll have is my point uh so i'm trying to pre-record so that the only thing i'll have to do is um voiceovers so i'm doing pretty great i have built uh ready to go uh, uh at the moment uh not necessarily fully for that period i'm still kind of working my way to that but so far so so good the first two weeks were pretty um good so I had some time to build. Now I'm starting to do some like presentations and essays and things like that. So I might build a little bit less than uh, I would like. But yeah, I'm also uh, working on a commission build, which is very exciting. I'm not sure if that's going to make it to my channel or not, because I have to decide whether I like it or not, or whether I like it enough for my channel. But I'll keep you posted on that because... Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun working on it. I'm just not sure if I like it enough for it to make it to my channel. But it's quite a big build and it would be like a stupid not to use it for my channel when I'm going to spend quite a bit of time on it. You know what I mean? You know, my time is valuable, especially now that I'm back to uni, have a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, I'll probably use it for my channel for that reason. Anyway, um, I talked over the landscaping a little bit. So I made two kind of fencing areas. One is open, which is where all of the um, kind of patches for growing vegetables are. And the other is a small little uh, fencing area for goats and sheep. I'm not really sure how like functional are they, they are for gameplay, but I thought they were really cute. So I decided to make this area just for them. There's also a little kind of like a gazebo area where your Sims can have lunch or like uh, have a barbecue. And now we're moving on to the interior. I used the counters that came with, I believe these are cottage living. I'm somet I sometimes kind of mistake them with the ones that came with the country kitchen kit, but I think these are from the cottage living pack. And I really, again, liked the warm, um, but very like rich brown color. And paired with the black uh, siding that I used, I think it looks really cool. I was a little bit hesitant to use the uh, paneling, like the wood paneling uh, from the outside on the inside, but I was really going for like a cottagey barn vibe and I thought that it would really kind of make that visible through the paneling, if you know what I mean. And so I was a bit nervous about how it's going to look, uh, the paneling on the inside, but I think it turned out so, so pretty. It really has this like cottagey uh, vibe and I love it so, so much. I'm very excited about this uh, home. I, I know I say it like in every single one of my videos, but trust me when I say I get excited about every single build that I do because I don't know, sometimes I'm like super obsessed with the build. Um, sometimes I'm just like a little bit obsessed with the build, but there is never a build that I really don't like. If I don't like it, I'm just not gonna post it or just usually I don't even finish it. If I cannot make it work, I'm just like, you know what? move on let's move on to something else uh so yeah i always strive to uh put the best i have on my channel um which i think is how it should be after all um yeah how is autumn going for you it's been quite warm in uh, the central europe area which is where i'm from um we've had temperatures around 20 degrees which is ridiculous uh considering it's almost like mid um october um but it's supposed to cool down over the weekend uh so we will see about that but it's supposed to be a lot colder next week so we'll see if i'm gonna regret um saying that i want autumn weather finally so yeah so far it's been quite okay uh but it seems like it's properly gonna start uh the autumn is properly gonna start next week so we will see uh if it does and how quickly i'll get uh frustrated by the fact that it's cold and i have to wear thousands of layers not to be cold but 
right now I'm very excited for autumn because you know all the beautiful colors and I'm already kind of getting in the mood with the sims um so yeah how are you excited for autumn do you like it do you not like it I think it's my favorite season probably I like winter as well but it's super cold I think I'm not a fan of like hot weather in the summer but I'm not also not like a super big fan of uh like very cold weather I like something in between which is I think where autumn falls it's like around like 15 degrees um and when it's like gloomy but also can be sunny so when it's like just perfect temperature which I think these days we don't really get that much anymore it's usually either like super hot or super cold I just feel like there is not much in between anymore which is a shame because I that's my favorite kind of weather kind of you know around the 15 degree mark um sunny pretty yeah dreams are not always coming true <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying anyway we kind of uh, went through the main living spaces so this is the living room next to it we have a beautiful um dining space i used these like wicker chairs from the laundry day pack uh which i also used outside with a table from i believe growing together and i really like uh this like red almost reddish uh kind of wood swatch paired with the browns uh and i don't know i really if you if you look in at the at the color palette it's just really so like warm and inviting i feel like and with like the accents of gold here and there i initially used these uh curtains that came with the dream home decorator pack which have uh these um like f leaves on them but i think i end up changing them at the end for um ones from eco lifestyle which have like this very like beige um swatch with gold um kind of like railing at the top uh, so i don't know i just wasn't feeling this i felt like i had a lot of patterns all over the, the the house and I felt like it was just clashing with those curtains so I end up changing them I think it's like the last thing I do or almost like the last thing I do at the end of the video because I just wasn't really feeling it the the, the curtains but I think the ones that I ended up going for look much much better and now we've finished the bathroom I again used the same swatches as downstairs there's also a second bathroom up here which is just like a half bath i think so there's only a toilet and a sink which i thought was enough for um you know two sims that will live here maybe even only one i also used the uh, mirror from the basement treasure skit which it's not a style that i would like but i think it really fits nicely in these like cottagey builds and it has this swatch that really fits in with the color palette that I was going for and I absolutely love how it turned out in here I generally really like the um, bedroom area it's like very cozy it has a lot of clutter you have everything your sims need and I also used a bed from the horror strange pack with this like very nice black and brown swatch I don't know I'm just it's not this is not a style that I would normally um gravitate towards you know I'm a bit more of a modern person but I really like how this turned out it's just I don't know I would love to I'm not sure I live there but like a vacation in a place like this would be amazing I also use these paintings from the eco lifestyle pack here as like sort of a decoration with some other paintings I placed a lot of paintings up here because I just wanted to fill the wall space. I also placed uh, a bookcase up here and then I'm just adding some finishing touches and we're going to finish up uh, the whole build, change the curtains that I talked about. So yeah, if you want to download this build, you can get it on a gallery. My ID is Michaela Simswaiti or you can get the trade files in the description box below as always. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me here today and I will see you in my next one. Bye.